Okay, this is how to find the corrupted uh, frames in your video when you get the uh, video rendering error 10008. What you have to do is watch this percentage here and it's going to come to the point where you have your problem in your um, in your timeline. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to stop when it encounters this corrupted uh, frames. And it's going to tell you what percentage you have and then what you've got to do is you've got to come down to your your length of your video and you're going to multiply it by that percentage. First you got to turn it into seconds. Multiply it by that percentage and then you can go in your timeline and find exactly where the corrupted video is. Bam! Alright, so share failed at 59. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here into our launch pad. We're going to go to our calculator. All right. So we know we've got 7 minutes and 15 seconds. So if you take 7 and you multiply it times 60 seconds, that comes out to 420. Plus 15 is 435. 435. All right. Times 0.6 equals 261. Divide it by 60 equals... 35. So it's right around 435. Okay. So now you can see I put my, I've got my, my um, thing, my whatever the hell this thing's called right there. So I'm going to go frame by frame. So we're at 32, 435, right? 30, 32. Bam. So it's very close to what our calculations were at 4 minutes and 35 seconds. Right around there, it's not exact. So all of that is pixelated. So what I need to do to fix it is I gotta get in front of it right here. I'm gonna put my cursor right there. I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. That gives me my blade. And I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna hit A. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna delete it. Now, I'm gonna go back I'm going to hit this, hit this, and I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go again to share, hit that, close this, share it again. I'll put this up here, let you watch it, it'll give you an idea. I'll speed this whole thing up super fast. This will also tell us that we've got another frame somewhere down in the timeline that is um, corrupted. Hopefully not. Hopefully this will be it and we fixed it. All right, we're getting close to that same spot. Let's see if we go past 60. Here we are. And it looks like we're good up to this point in the timeline. Now let's see if we can com complete uh, the process and share it. If it doesn't, that means we've got more corrupted video down the timeline. So you want to keep an eye on this percentage. So if you do encounter another corrupted frame, you know exactly where what to multiply your total um, play time by. And usually it's within a couple seconds. It looks like we're going to make it all the way through. 15 more percentage points and we're done. Okay, this is the fastest way that you can find the corrupted frames from these excess maxes. But you're going to have them. So. I mean, instead of scanning your whole video, this is the way to do it. And as you can see, we got a successful share, and that's exactly what we wanted. So we got rid of all the corrupted video. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of other videos on how to use Final Cut Pro and a bunch of different types of hacks that you can use to shortcut that workflow. All right, like I said, subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace out.